Good morning from Kewstoke in the UK somewhere. I uh, decided to ride 200k today. The DIY Audax. Uh, there's not really much of a goal today apart from I left at 6 in the morning hoping to do 4 hours and then arrive at Sweets Cafe at 10 just when it opens. At the moment I'm a little bit early. Just good, guys. Just chill out, can I? Just chill out. Don't have to pedal hard. Ooh, potholes. So somebody asked me recently about uh, eating vegan food on all Dax rides, and what can you eat? What choices do you have? What can you look for? Petrol stations, cafes, that kind of stuff. So I did the whole of last season's Super Randomer series on a vegan diet, didn't have any animal products whatsoever um, and I'm continuing with that. So start off with petrol garages, there's tons of stuff so let's start, I'll think of as many as I can now and then I'll probably think of some more later but anyway, petrol garages, what have you got? Uh, Oreos, packets of Oreos, usually a quid a big packet of Oreos. Uh, you can have ginger nut biscuits. They're vegan. No butter or egg or milk powder or anything. Uh, bread. Do like to buy some bread rolls and just smash them down. Uh, if you look for a co-op store they often have ripe bananas. Ripe bananas at co-op, that's always good. Co-op is also brilliant for donuts, jam donuts or custard donuts, both vegan. Uh, you can buy two packs for a quid, so you can buy ten donuts for one pound. Absolutely gorge yourself. And then probably have to wait until you can cycle again. But anyway, uh, what else? Crisps, lots of different types of crisps. Uh, what are they called? The Sensations Chili Heat Wave, I think they're called. Uh, just Walker's Salt and Vinegar. Salt and Vinegar? Yeah, I think they're right. Uh, ready Salted. Hula Hoops. That's the type of crisp with some real substance to it. So hula Hoops, you can get tons of calories in with that. Um, pr yeah, Pringles, tubes of Pringles. Um, I've done. I've had cans of baked beans, they sell single baked beans in one of the local ones that I use on this on this route that I'm doing today. So if you bring t bring with you a little plastic spoon like the green ones they give you in for uh, kiwis, bring a little plastic spoon, buy a can of baked beans with a ring pull and there you go, that's a fairly low sugar option if you want to be like that. Um, yeah they keep you full, the baked beans. What else? Uh, Bourneville chocolate. If you're thinking of something different, I fancy some of that right now actually. I might have to get some of that on the way back. Bourneville dark chocolate, yeah that's good. Uh, what else? I think Skittles. Yeah, they change Skittles so that they're not made with uh, cochineal, is it? So... Skittles are vegan now, I've changed the recipe. Can I think of anything else? Oh, just loads of fruit juice. Fruit juice, fruit juice. You'll be weeing for a while afterwards, but if you can down yourself a litre of mango juice or something, the Rubicon man mango juice, that is excellent. Uh, that's about it for now. I might think of some more later. But it's certainly doable. You can eat vegan diet and do long distance cycling. If you're doing something like the transcontinental race in unfamiliar countries, that would be the next challenge. I'm not sure whether I could cope with that. Um, I literally just don't know what the options are available in different countries in petrol garages. Um, but certainly for the UK, Super Randomer series up to 1000k is what I did last year. Fine, no problem. You can do it. Cafe stops. Beans on toast, no butter. 
every time. Nearly flat out. Bread and jam, no butter. Awesome. They are the choices. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of I got home before it started raining. Yeah.